Hi friends! Welcome to another social emotional learning video from Mile Marks. Today, we'll be learning all about social skills. In this video, you will learn these three things. 1. What are social skills? 2. The difference between good and poor social skills. And 3. Tips to help you improve your social skills. Ready? Let's get started! So what exactly are social skills? Social skills are the ways in which you behave, talk, and play when you're around other people. It's how good of a job you do having conversations, understanding people's feelings, and behaving when you're in certain places. Social skills are important because they help you know what to do or say to get along better with the kids and adults that you interact with every day. Learning to get along with others will also be very important in your life as you get older. So what's the difference between good and poor social skills? Well, first, let's take a look at someone who has great social skills. This is Rhea. Rhea does a good job starting a conversation with her peers, and she knows just what to say to keep that conversation going. She lets others have a turn to talk, and when they're talking, she is focused and shows them that she is listening. She nods along, smiles, and asks questions, all without interrupting. When it's her turn to speak, Rhea thinks about what she wants to say before she says it. When Rhea is with her friends, she does a great job playing nicely. She is polite and uses her manners whenever she can. She says, please, thank you, and excuse me whenever she's around others. Rhea knows when it's time to joke around and have fun, like when she's at the park with her friends and when it's time to be focused, like when she's at school. Rhea also does a great job of knowing how other people are feeling. She does this by paying attention to their social cues. A social cue is a clue that lets you know how someone else is feeling. This can be a person's body language, the look on their face, their tone of voice, or how close or far they stand from you. If Rhea sees that someone is feeling sad, she thinks about what she can say or do to be helpful to that person. When Rhea is the one feeling sad or mad, she uses her words to express how she's feeling to others. Now let's talk about Ollie. Ollie's social skills are… <laughs> not so great. When others are talking, Ollie interrupts them, gets distracted, or walks away from the conversation. Sometimes the other kids are wondering if Ollie is even listening to what they're saying. When it's his turn to speak, he often says things without thinking and can sometimes hurt the other person's feelings. Ollie can be bossy when playing with his friends, especially if they aren't playing a game that he wants to play. Ollie often forgets to use his manners and always has to be reminded to say please, thank you, or excuse me. It's hard for Ollie to read social cues, so he ends up doing or saying the wrong things at times. Like when his mom is busy on the phone, Ollie still tries to get her attention even though it's not the best time to do so. Or he'll make a joke in the middle of class when everyone else is trying to focus. When Ollie gets upset, he has a hard time sharing his feelings and sometimes will throw a big fit. These are some of the reasons the other kids don't really like being around Ollie. So what about you? Are you more like Rhea? Or maybe you're like Ollie? Or maybe you're somewhere in between? For some kids, learning social skills can be really challenging because it's hard for them to understand how others are thinking or feeling. They also have a difficult time knowing what to say or how to act in different situations. So whether you're like Rhea or Ollie, since we spend a lot of time around other people, it's always helpful to try to improve your social skills. Here are four tips that can help. Number one, think before acting. Social skills are all about how your words and actions affect other people. When you're around others, you should always think to yourself, is what I'm about to say or do going to make people want to be around me? Or will it make them want to get away? By taking time to think before acting, you can make better social skills choices like using your manners or playing nicely with others. Number 2. Watch and practice conversations. If you're someone who has a hard time talking to others, spend some time observing conversations. This can be in real life or even on a TV show. Try to see what others do or say to keep a conversation going. Watch their social cues and how they show others that they are listening. When you get a chance, practice these skills with your family and friends until you get comfortable. Number 3. Practice using empathy. Empathy is being able to understand how someone might be thinking or feeling. We can tell how others are feeling by their social cues. Start paying attention to people's faces and body language to get a better idea of how they might feel. Then ask yourself, what can I do to be helpful to this person? Using empathy helps you to better get along with others. Number 4. Stay positive. 
Some kids have negative thoughts about themselves whenever they get around other people. These thoughts can keep them from wanting to interact with other kids or adults. If this happens to you, practice replacing those negative thoughts with positive ones. Doing so can help you feel more confident when you're in social situations. Even though learning social skills can be a challenge, with plenty of practice, you can start to improve. Well, that's all we have for you today, friends. I hope you learned a lot and you found this information helpful. If you did, make sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and share it with your friends. Look in the description below to find more resources about social skills. Be sure to also check out our other videos and visit our website at milemarks.com for more helpful social-emotional content. Have a great day, friends!